In this video, we're going to take you through the Ledger extension, a browser extension designed to connect your Ledger Nano X directly to NFT marketplaces and Web3 apps, all while keeping your assets secure. And we're going to show you how to set it up, its features, and how to connect to dApps and marketplaces. For more information, please check out everybithelps.io. First up, a little bit about what the Ledger extension is. So the Ledger extension created by Ledger is the only browser extension built from the ground up to be compatible with a Ledger hardware wallet. Ideal for users who want direct and secure connections to NFT marketplaces and web free apps using their Ledger hardware wallet. The extension aims to make using your Ledger devices more seamless and straightforward, providing you with the ability to manage your crypto assets directly from within your browser. With the extension, you can seamlessly connect to dApps without needing to import your Ledger account into a software wallet like you do with the likes of Metamask. You can stay secure with web free checks and transaction summaries that protect you from scams and suspicious smart contracts. You can enjoy multi-chain support for both Ethereum and Solana at launch, with more protocols gradually being added after the launch. Plus, you can automatically switch to the right network when connecting to a web free app. Now, the Ledger extension is only initially available on Safari, on mobile or Mac, which technically is iOS 16 plus Mac OS 12 plus with Safari 16 plus. However, they do plan to launch soon on other browsers as well. To begin with, you're going to need a Ledger Nano X device as it's required to protect your private keys and sign each transaction. The Ledger extension is currently in beta, so currently only supports the Ledger Nano X. If you don't already have a Ledger Nano X, then I'll pop a link in the summary below. So let's jump in and take a look. As I said, the Ledger extension is currently available on Safari on a mobile device or Mac. For the purposes of the first part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you this all on my Mac. But later, I'm also going to show you how to set up on a mobile and connect which I'll timeline below. To set up the Ledger extension on Safari, head across to the Ledger website, which again, we're going to link below and download for Safari. Then install and open. As it states here, my Ledger device has been activated. But if for any reason it doesn't, you can head to Safari in the top left of your screen. Then Preferences. And under the Extensions, you'll need to select the checkbox next to Ledger Extension, and then you'll need to allow all the necessary permissions. Once that's all done, the Ledger extension icon should appear in blue next to the website URL. Now, if for any reason it's not, it's worth restarting your computer, which is something that I did. So now if I click onto the Ledger extension icon, it's then wanting to connect to my Ledger Nano X. So you're going to need to ensure that it's connected and unlocked. Plus, you'll also need to have the Ethereum app open. Once it's found as it has mine, you can then select where you're then prompted for a connection request and you'll need to ensure that the numbers are the same on your screen and on your device. As soon as that's done, you'll see that my device is now connected in the top left and my account is also connected in the top right. And we can synchronize more from here later. We then have our ETH balance for this account in ETH and then in dollars and quick links to buy, swap, send and receive. Plus, you can also view your assets and NFTs, and there's some Web3 safety here. So if you use the quick links for swap, for example, you're going to be taken to Ledger Live and to the swap function on their screen. If you need to view your Ledger wallet address, you can receive, and again, you're going to be taken via Ledger Live, where you're then going to be taken through the prompts to viewing these addresses. And if you also wanted to buy or send crypto from your account or view assets and NFTs, again, you're going to be redirected to Ledger Live. And the Ledger Nano X will then be used to sign and approve transactions securely. Now, if you interact with more than one account, you can also add this by clicking on the top right where it says Account 1. Then choosing to synchronize. And you're going to need to have your Ledger nearby and powered on and any other accounts will then be displayed. 
So how do we actually start using this with dApps? Well, first, we're going to take a look at Uniswap, which is a decentralized application or dApp for exchanging your tokens. Plus, there's also ways that you can earn passive income. I've got a full tutorial for Uniswap, but I'm also going to show you how to connect now. So if we click on to launch app in the top right hand of the screen, then we're going to connect wallet and choose browser wallet. The ledger extension has now displayed where you're going to be prompted to connect and you can choose which account you'd like to connect by clicking on the account drop down. I'm going to stick with account one and then choose to connect. And you'll then see a message letting you know once that's successful. When that's all done, you're going to see your Ledger wallet address appearing in the top right here. When we click onto our Ledger extension again, you'll also see that under Web3 now, that Uniswap is connected, and you can also disconnect from here too. If you wanted to go ahead and start swapping, you're then going to be interacting with the assets that you currently have on your Ledger in this account. However, Ethereum gas fees are pretty high right now, so I'm not actually going to go ahead with this swap. So let's take a look at OpenSea next, which is a Web3 marketplace for NFTs and crypto collectibles. So within OpenSea, if we choose to connect wallet in the top right, then choose Ledger and connect. Once that's successful, you're going to be prompted to accept and sign their terms of service and privacy policy, which you can do by choosing to accept and sign. You're then going to be prompted to sign this on your ledger, but don't worry as as they state here, there's no blockchain transaction or fee associated to this. To agree, you just choose to sign. Review it on your ledger and confirm that on your device. Once that's all done, your wallet is then connected in the top right and you're then free to browse the collections and purchase NFTs and collectibles with your ETH. Then finally, within our browser app, we're going to take a look at the settings. Where well, you can switch off allow usage tracking, and you can also clear your storage. Next, I'm going to quickly show you how to install the mobile app and then connect. So let's head across to my iPhone now. Now, because I downloaded the extension on my Mac, it's actually automatically installed that on my iPhone. But if not, you can download from the App Store. And when you open it, you're then going to have the instructions of how to enable your extension. So first, you obviously need to install it, which I've already done. Then you need to enable it, which you can do by clicking on the little A and the big A at the bottom of your Safari screen, just to the side of the URL address. Then choose Manage Extensions and switch on the Ledger extension. Again, it's going to ask you if you want to allow the ledger extension access, and I'm going to always allow from here. Plus, I also need to allow access to Bluetooth. Once they've been enabled, the extension will then look for your ledger. And that ledger Nano X will need to be powered on and unlocked. Once it's found, which it will do via Bluetooth, you can then select the ledger. Now you're going to be prompted to pair it by confirming the code on your ledger. Once paired, you'll see the ledger extension show with your ETH balance, the account selected in the top right, and again, you'll see those quick links for buying, swapping, sending and receiving. Next, let's take a look at how we can connect this using our mobile, which is the same as our browser extension in the fact that we can still connect to OpenSea, dApps and portfolio trackers like Zerion and Zappa, which I've got tutorials for. I'm going to do the same process as before so I can show you how to connect to OpenSea first. So I need to choose to connect wallet, then ledger, and then you'll see my wallet is now connected in the top right here. Plus my balance is also appearing for this account. So that completes how you can now securely and directly connect to NFT marketplaces and Web3 apps using your Ledger Nano X. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to our website at everybithelps.io for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.